What life lurks in the deepest, darkest parts of our planet's oceans? These unexplored remote areas hold secrets about animal behavior that humans have never seen. And because there are more questions than answers about life at the bottom of the ocean, our imaginations run wild with tales of sea serpents like the Kraken or the Loch Ness Monster. But there are some monster-like creatures living thousands of feet below the surface, and they've adapted to their hostile environment over millions of years by taking on some unbelievably cool, and in some cases scary, physical characteristics. Here are nine more rarely seen denizens of the deep. giant spider crab is found 500 to 1,000 feet underwater in Suruga Bay off the coast of Japan, where people consider them a delicacy. Each year, hundreds of thousands of them migrate to Port Phillip Bay in Australia. The largest known crab species, the giant spider crab, can have a leg span of 12 feet, a body 16 inches across, and can weigh around 40 pounds. These massive crustaceans can live to be 100 years old and will eat just about anything. But they are also prey for even bigger animals such as squid. To protect themselves when young, they sometimes decorate their often orange and white shells with kelp and sea sponges to better blend into the ocean floor. sharks are more deep sea dwellers rarely seen because they most often live about 1,600 to 3,280 feet underwater. They might even be the source of sea monster stories with their eel-like bodies, as they have about 300 triangular teeth arranged in 25 rows. The frilled shark grows to as much as 5 or 6 feet long. No one has ever seen a frilled shark eat and one study suggests that its gestation period is 3.5 years or longer. This dinner plate jelly is one of the jellyfish that calls the dark of the sea home, in this case, 3,300 feet below the surface. Unexpectedly, they don't wait around for food, choosing instead to actively seek out the zooplankton and other jellyfish that it eats. This behavior is unique among Cnidarians. The Okeanos explorer photographed the one above in the Musician's Sea Mounts, a set of underwater mountains north of the main Hawaiian islands. Before this exploration, the area had not received much attention from scientists. It documented many types and aspects of marine life, including other little-known and previously undiscovered jellyfish, for the first time. These elongated fish live at depths of 656 feet, but some live as far down as 3,280 feet. All fish are said to have inspired tales of sea serpents through the years. Looking at pictures of all fish that wash up on beaches, it's easy to see why. The world's longest bony fish can grow up to 56 feet long and weigh 600 pounds, according to National Geographic. Found all over the world, these fish aren't sought for their gelatinous meat, though some people trophy hunt for them. Instead of scales, they have tubercles covered in a material called guanine. When they come to the surface, their skin becomes soft and is easily damaged. Lanternfish bring their own light to their habitat, 1,300 to 3,000 feet below the surface during the day. At night, they ascend to feed as high up as just 82 feet below the sea level. The lanternfish uses photophores on its body and snout to provide the light to see with its large eyes. These tiny swimmers are only 1 to 6 inches long 
and live about 1,000 feet deep in waters worldwide. Lanternfish are an essential part of the food chain, serving as the primary food source to larger animals like squid, tuna, salmon, whales, and penguins. Unfortunately, lanternfish consume plastic debris from the ocean that then becomes food for other animals. Northern wolfish prefer the cold depths of the North Atlantic, residing anywhere from 328 to 5,577 feet below sea level. There is a unique compound in their blood that acts as an antifreeze in the icy waters. Atlantic wolfish are voracious predators with eel-like bodies, large teeth, big heads, and powerful jaws to eat hard-bodied prey such as sea urchins, crabs, and snails. Like eels, they favor rocky ocean bottoms and seaweed beds where they can hide. These solitary fish grow up to 5 feet long and can weigh as much as 40 pounds. While the wolfish pictured here is blue, they also may be a purplish-brown or dull olive-green. The unlovely viperfish haunts the tropical and temperate ocean at depths of up to 9,186 feet. It generally lives about 5,000 feet below the surface during the day. At night, it ascends to shallower water to hunt. This predator is another deep-sea fish with an outsized mouth, a giant lower jaw, and fang-like teeth. Like the anglerfish, viperfish have light-producing organs that they dangle near their bodies to attract prey. And if that lure doesn't work, these fast swimmers rush their victims and impale them on teeth so long they don't fit in their mouth. This foot-long fish comes in a variety of colors, from green to silver to black to blue. The migratory blunt-nosed six-gill shark is found worldwide at depths to 6,500 feet, though it will move to shallower water to feed. These bottom-dwelling sharks have powerful bodies, broad heads, and fluorescent, blue-green eyes. Six-gill sharks range in color from gray to tan to black on their backs, but they are all lighter underneath. And they are big. The Shark Research Institute reports they grow to almost 16 feet long, and weigh 1,300 pounds. It takes a lot of food to fuel that body. Their prey is dolphinfish, billfish, flounder, cod, hagfish, lampreys, chimeras, rays, dogfish, and prickly sharks. The cookie-cutter shark prefers warm water and lives in oceans near the equator at depths of 1,000 feet. This terrifying mouth takes circular cookie-shaped chunks of flesh from its victims. A horrifying visual, yes, but these sharks are parasites, which means they harm, but do not kill, other fish or marine mammals. As far as sharks go, these are on the smaller side, measuring up to 19 inches. Previously, cookie-cutter sharks had the common name of cigar sharks for two reasons. First, their bodies are long and cylindrical like a cigar, and second, they have a dark collar around their gills that looks like the band on a cigar. Thank you for watching our last show of 2020. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single show. Happy New Year to all our wonderful Instagram and YouTube friends.